Hi everyone, welcome back to my tutorial. I am Mayan Sukhra. I am watching your tech and coding video. My code works. So guys, in this video, we are going to see the put request and the patch request of rest assured. So in previous video, we saw how to hit a post request to an endpoint, how to create a booking of restful broker API endpoints. Today, we are going to update those data and lot of things we are going to learn today video because we need to perform into interesting like we'll create token as well as we are going to create a booking and when we are going to update the same booking and validate the things, right? So a lot of things are there today. I think maybe this video will become a little lengthy or I can make this in part wise, but let's uh, achieve these things. So let's directly jump into the uh, Eclipse site. So before that, I will tell you that like, uh, I will tell you that uh, create booking API endpoints we already automated. Now we are going to update the booking and uh, we'll see uh, how to make it into in, right? So let's directly jump into the Eclipse. And if uh, you haven't performed this, then you can go with this uh, Bruno and perform these things. I have already tested these APIs. They are working fine correctly. So I will directly jump into the Eclipse code, uh, Eclipse uh, workspace, and then we'll start working on this. So these are the post examples where we generated the token and uh, and after that, we creating the booking as well as verifying the status. Now we'll create a uh, package called, I will create a package called, uh, it should be outside of this, inside the Java package, put and patch example. Inside that, I will create a, class put and patch example so i will just copy paste this post examples uh, imports directly to put and patch example so it will be easy uh, let's directly switch to this code i will just click on this okay so let me do one thing i will just copy these imports inside put and patch example i will paste it here so what i'm going to write now i'm going to write uh, Test public void um, up to date booking and verify and verify data. I will make this as a test by notating with as a test and inside this I will just copy paste our post example so it will be easy for us to write the things easily. So I will just copy paste this code and uh, I will tell you how to work with this code perfectly. So I just copy paste it as of now, let me uh, drop down this terminal little down. And now what I'm going to do is, so we are treating this data directly and now we need to update this data. So there is a difference between put and patch. If I say put, so basically I will talk about this uh, now. So put and patch versus right if I say, so, If I say put, it's not working at all. Maybe uh, I will tell you about this. Why it is not? It's not responding. Let me go with the normal explanation. So put basically replace all the data that you are sending in the payload directly to the uh, particular data. All the request, whatever request body contains, it will replace all the data. But patch basically updates the required data that you want to update. Suppose if you want to update only last name, then you have to send the last name in the request. So this is a difference only. So kind of patch is partial update and put is full update. So we are going to update the data. So we are going to go with the put method. So I will just directly update this to put first, right? So we are going to go with the put request or put HTTP method. And we have this data. So I'm going to replace this hello with this subscribe and this with my code works. Okay, so I just updated this one and we can update all of them. So I'm just updating the first name, last name and I'm keeping, keeping all the things same as or I can also, also update that nine simply or I can make this one OO and whatever like you want to update inside this, you can update. So I just updated the data. I just, I want to update in the and what I'm going to do is the base URI should be something this and I can do one thing. I will remove this booking from here. Base URI something and we are going to do one thing here uh base this was okay so uh copy paste right so what i'm going to do is we have in point of update if you see here booking slash id we need to pass the id which id data you want to update so it's booking what i'm going to do is i will just simply write this way booking slash plus 
so now i need the id right booking id so let's do one thing as of now i will just remove plus here and i will save it let's directly jump into the post example code and uh, do one thing we need token first thing so as well as booking id right both the things we need to execute the put method so what i'm going to do is create two variable here as a static variable okay so i will make uh, let me do one thing public static string auth token public static int booking id so i just uh, created two variable static variable inside this class and now i need to store the data once i'm getting the data from this uh, to request so once i got this i need to do one thing uh, auth token auth auth token let's update this data equals to response dot json path we have to go with json path json path basically we are going to just keep the key value we are going to say that this is the key value return me the value from the particular response right so we are going to get the key we are going to pass the key not string or directly get will also return as a string so i'm going to say that i need to get the token from the response and storing of token this we are able to do now i need to update the booking id also what i'm going to do is after getting this response do one thing booking booking id equals to what i'm going to do is uh, okay so we have response dot json path again we'll go with the json path dot get again get int or i simply i can say that booking booking id now i will save this okay so we will get it booking id from here and we are storing these things inside this class as a static variable so we can easily access this uh, data and we can easily use inside this one what i'm going to raise now i will just plus it a uh, booking id from where i need to get it from post example dot booking id if i save it i should get this booking id ex ampls post examples okay why it is not returning me let's do one thing i will again import this post post examples dot booking id okay now i should get this booking id here and if i say that i need to pass i need to pass the token here if you see here i am passing uh, like uh, we need to pass the cookie and the token inside the cookie as a in, in, in header inside the header right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do request dot uh, header inside this c o o k i e cookie token equals plus post examples dot auth token so basically we are setting the header with cookie and token right so that we can able to easily uh, update the data we need these things right so now we update the data and we'll get the something like uh, let's see what we are updating we are updating subscribe my code works and we need to get this as a booking right we should be updating this first name dot match equal to it should be subscribe and uh, i can copy paste this one and uh, also do one thing i can also validate last name and subscribe as my code works subscribe my code works okay so this data we are updating we are we are going to uh, validate these two data first and let's see whether we are able to uh, update the things or not so now the uh, main agenda is here i need to execute these three methods one to one back to back like first we have to generate the token and create a booking and then after update that booking right so if you see here test this there is a by default priority of this uh, test right if i say priority by default i will get as a zero if you are not providing anything then by default it is zero and that will be the first priority before any of the test case executes so all the test case don't have priority will execute first and then only the priority given test case will execute so what i am going to do i need to provide this priority right so let's do one thing here as of now i will remove i need to execute these two classes right this two uh, one class is post example and post another class is put and patch example these two classes have two methods uh, one class has two method another one is uh, one method and i need to execute these three methods at the same time so how we can do this so there is a way to execute this using testng.xml we have to create that testng 
.xml text ng dot xml file content i will just write this one and let's see the test ng file xml how it will looks like and we'll copy paste this so let's do one thing test ng okay so i will just copy paste it uh, okay so let's do one thing i will just copy paste this inside our workspace and we'll create a file called test ng dot xml test ng dot xml okay so let me paste it here what i'm going to do is write uh, then then let's update this let's update this suite name first rest full booker api automation okay so regression and we have to provide the class name so these are two class name i need to provide this so how we are going to provide you can see this this class name a package and class name right so i will go with this one uh post examples post examples inside that post 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 say examples like this and let's me remove this class we have only two class as of now to execute so put and patch example dot put and patch example so these two class we have added here now what we are going to do is we are going to provide the priority to the particular methods so that they can execute in order so first thing i need to provide the priority i don't need to provide this priority for generating the token because by default zero and this will execute at first okay but before that before that uh, once this uh, token is generated i need to create a booking and then only i will update this booking so i'm going to provide this priority here i will provide the priority as uh, one so that's uh, after generating token this uh, method will execute and let's directly jump to put inside this i will provide priority as two two so after creating booking uh, uh, we have, then only we are going to update the data right so i just provided the priority now let's run this code and then we'll see whether we are able to run properly or not and uh, we are able to create the data and update the data or not so let's see we executed the suit directly and uh, we should be able to run the code both the class uh, methods if you haven't subscribed my youtube channel please do like and click on bell icon for more updates and uh, i'm started with this rest uh, rest assured tutorials please do and check the previous videos if you haven't subscribed and if you need how to learn java please go and check the java tutorials and then come because java is important here you need to understand the oops concept and all so as you can see there i have just run this uh, three test case and now they are passed three test case passed if you go into running the uh, test and these things you can easily understand so first it's created the token and then we created or updated this uh, created this book, booking and we updated the data and also we very validated the data whether the first and last name is uh, uh, subscribe or not so i can do one thing i can also check inside this one 4595 right i can check in inside this one get the booking whether our booking are updated or not so let's paste it here control here let's 4595 right 4595 and let's hit this we should get that updated data as you can see here subscribe my code works now we got the updated data easily and we we able to execute the script and update the things right Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you got any issue, if you have any doubt, please let me in comment section. I will try to help you out. And uh, in next video, we'll see how to patch a particular or partial update. Next next video will focus on this uh, partial update. We have one more in point that is partial update. We'll focus on these things. So till that, bye bye. And thanks for watching this video. We'll meet in next video till that. Bye bye. Happy coding and happy testing.